Michael Lewis deep to receive the kickoff from Matt Bryant as the Saints will get the ball first and we are underway in New Orleans. Lewis from the 10. And the former beer truck driver across the 35 blasted out of bounds by the kicker Matt Bryant who got in a wicked shot and then wants to wolf about it. And you really have to hustle. Look at the end of this play. You're going to see the, the that's that's a kicker, oh. folks. Now that's that's what I call hustle. So the ensuing kick to Ronnie Jenkins. Oh, those Bills special teams. They were better, but not on this day. A huge return of the 30. Foreman, the kicker, had to make the, the play. from behind with Ellis Hobbs returning it and breaking it and fumbling it fumble again knocked loose by Todd Sauerbrunn who kicked it off oh but he's a little free with the football it looked like Burns got to cover it up look what at Sauerbrunn that the is punter a... and kickoff artist tremendous job by him more and more the kickers and putters in the NFL. Hey, they they're athletic. They've got they're tough. And I mean that. I see more and more tackles. Scoreless first. Mitch Hamburger punting. Taken by Carl the Truth Williams. He had a big day. Looking to make the move. Cut up right in the middle of the field. Making a block right there. He could go all the way. Except Berger knocks him out of saving. Down 14 to 10. Williams gets another Burger punt. Look at him, looks like he's hemmed in there. Four Vikings, but somehow he escapes. Houdini and Burger makes a tackle and says, come on, can't anybody other than me make a tackle? Burger had three tackles today. Now, he's fumbled twice on kicks this year, the rookie from Montana. Looking into the sun here. Clean catch, good run. Look out, Marion took off at the Cowboy 30. The kicker has him. With a flag down, probably a face mask on the back end of it. Benny Cunningham decides to take it out. A little flip, a little reverse, a little trick by Jeff Fisher and company, and good tackle. That could have went someplace. Cody Davis, great special teamer, is the guy on that flip reverse. Two yards in. Here's Lockett. Always a threat, and it's Gano himself who has to drag him down after a really good run back of 45 yards. Don Smith is back to receive along with Al Edwards, and Super Bowl 25 is underway in Tampa. Bars kick taken up at the 13-yard line. It's Don Smith who used to play for the Buccaneers, tackled by Barr. So Matt Barr, who loves to refer to himself as a player and not just a kicker, proves it on the opening kickoff of the Super Bowl. Third down. Now a punt from Jones with two guys back. It's Sherrill's on the return. They fake a reverse, and Sherrill's runs into Jones, who makes a nice tackle. Chris Jones in the open field with a good tackle of Marcus Sherrill's. Dempsey sets the kick to Dennis Morgan and Les Strayhorn. This will be Dennis Morgan. And it was Dempsey that made the stop. Otherwise, Morgan might have gone all the way. Tom Dempsey. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to show you something, and this is this is why they why they call this kickoff team. James delayed, and when the back stayed in, he came to the quarterback. Anger punts it away, and this is a tremendous punt. Martin retreats back to the five. Oh, what a return! He shot Martin. The problem is he kicked it so far 
that none of the coverage guys could get there to stop Martin from breaking a big one. So Anger does the next best thing and makes the tackle at the end. Redskins didn't. Redskins just brought the gunners in to make sure with the punt block on that the kick would be gotten away. And Harris takes it the ball at the 29-yard line. And Harris down the sideline right in front of the Redskins bench, staying in bounds and gets hogtied out of bounds. And that'll be a flag by Rocca. So the punter is able to tackle him, but he's going to get flagged here. That's going to move Dallas very deep into Washington territory. Have to go to work without Bryant. And down by 11 with six and a half to go. Not much of a rush, and Sauerbrunn gets rid of it. Here's Jaquette from the 30. Jaquette angling his way to the sideline. Meet Jaquette. Forced out of bounds as he crosses the 40-yard line. Did you see the lick by Todd Sauerbrunn, the punter, but make the tackle and knock him out of bounds. A 35-yard return. San Diego unable to move the football offensively. But Nate Jaquette does it on special teams and a first and ten at the 36. We dropped so many interceptions, he was hoping that would turn around. Leckler's kick, Delva O'Neill watches it, bounds and picks it up at the 25, to the 30, up the sideline, midfield. A blocker in front of him, and he is whacked down inside the 35-yard line. Kick off by Vanderjet. Ryan Mitchell, another chance from the five. Up to the 30. Into the clear. Vanderjack trying to cut him off and does get to him, but not till Brian Mitchell is all the way to the Colts 36 yard line. That might be his longest of the year. He had a 49 yard return against Washington. That one 58 <laughs> yards. That's the anti taunting going on right there. <laughs> That's Ferguson from inside the 10. Robert Ferguson. Ferguson down the sideline, tripped up by the kicker, Vanderjet. And they're going to mark Ferguson down right at the 22-yard line. And it was the kicker that saved the touchdown. Sometimes when you're the last defender, you dive and just try and kick one foot into the other. It's exactly what Vanderjack did to save the touchdown. Kick one foot into the other foot, and the guy falls down. So the Giants, who lead by four with under ten to play in the half, will get it back. And here he is again. As a 97-yarder for a touchdown, and he's got another big one. Forced out by Morstead, the kicker. And this kickoff coverage team for the Saints is leaving gaping holes for Wilson to find this one good for 52. Four-point game as a receiver and then also in this one as a runner. Another pop-up kick. It'll be Jernigan from the 15-yard line, room to run. And Jarrell Jernigan is going to break loose. Morstead is there to bring him down. But Jarnigan gives the Giants exactly what they need after that last touchdown by Sproles. You want to see the highlight of the day, Tommy, for San Diego? It's bad when the punter has the highlight. But Darren Bennett was a former Australian rules football player. And watch this. Here's the punt. And Andre Hastings is uh, going to make the return. And watch Bennett. He doesn't run away from it. It's boom. This is the punter. But for San Diego, that really was their highlight. Mike. 14 0. Then on the punt, Roscoe Parrish, the youngster. And he is whoop. Woo. If that's the punter, Donnie Jones, but a good return by Parrish. Just under seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. 10 to 7 in favor of Tampa Bay. And Robbie Martin at the 39. to the 45, and Larry Swider, the putter, drives Martin out of bounds at the 37-yard line, and the best field position of the day for the Lions. Here's the end of that play as Swider. On Number the nine, right there, he goes up high to make sure the tackle takes him out of bounds, and here is where he got shook up a little bit, down around. He just isn't used to making tackles. Return, they skid it through, yeah, they're playing like a shortstop at the 15. 
One missed tackle. There he goes. 40, 50. Sebastian Janikowski makes the tackle at the 35. Oh, my. This is going to be returned by Barner. Inside the five. And Barner with a good return and gets smacked down by Bajer. So Bajer says, well, I don't mind making the kick or the tackle. And what a cruncher that was, but a 32-yard return that time for Barner. Dude, how about Bosch? I mean, this is just like, you talk about form tackle. Lower your hips, lower your hips, drive through the player, right? Near foot, near shoulder. Go ahead, give it a listen. Who says punters aren't players? On a first and 10 from the 11-yard line, helping to pave the way with protection. Holiday this time after that fumble on the road to atonement, and oh. McAfee bangs him out of bounds. Oh. McAfee, who hit his hardest, most linebackers playing the role of a linebacker right there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I don't think I've ever seen a kicker with this kind of hit. Of course, it helps a little bit when the guy is smaller than you are, just five foot five. Pat McAfee is going to be legend among kickers everywhere.